There we are. Happy sibling day to the best sister ever. As Renee Most scrolls through her sister's Facebook page, there are good memories. She always posts something for me. And bad. Her Facebook says that she still works at Red Lake. Most was in graduate school for addiction treatment during the 2005 shooting at Red Lake High School. Her sister was in her classroom teaching. It was in her classroom um, that all of the students were, were killed. And the shooter came in her room. She survived the shooting, but her sister says she's forever changed. I'm her younger sister, and she was, like, fearless. And afterwards, she, she, she wasn't. Now, most works at Kodiak Health in the Twin Cities, which helps people struggling with addiction, mental health, and trauma. There's this idea of people getting re-traumatized um, every time there's another event. Jason Reed is a licensed psychologist at Kodiak. People just never really heal from it, and it feels like it's, it's still happening in the moment. What they went through years ago is still happening. Anytime a mass shooting happens, I call her, I text her, and so does my, my parents and her friends. The frequency of the shootings isn't just re-traumatizing. Reed says their prevalence can make survivors feel like what happened to them doesn't matter. You know, if this becomes our new normal, I'm afraid that, you know, young people will just feel like they have to deal with it on their own and it's not important enough to get help. The psychologist we spoke with says there's a big need for long-term care for people struggling with PTSD from any cause. He says one of the biggest hurdles is people struggling with PTSD might not even recognize they have it. He hopes greater awareness helps with that. Well, great information. Thank you, Jennifer. And help is out there and it is effective. If you are looking for a place to start, go to care11.com slash road to hope. You can find the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number and other resources to help yourself or a loved one. We'll be right back.